Southern California has a new modern home for NFL football, and it is this place, Wondrous SoFi Stadium here in Inglewood. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Los Angeles Chargers. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Miami set to take over. Two and a throw right away. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. To throw again on second down. Two. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And picked up by the Chargers. Down the left sideline. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear. But they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. On second and 12, Herbert. It's complete to Williams. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it's third and four now. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun, Herbert on third down. Got a man, it's Allen for the Charger touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Chargers use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. The Charles here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. From the gun, it's Tua. A quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And now it's second down. First carry for Raheem Mostert. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Two 
Two and now on first down. Steps away to his left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary. All of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Going to the air. Tongue of Iloa. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And he lost the football. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Just keeping the play alive. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 21. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Being chased out left. And he'll just get rid of it. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Looking to pass. Tua. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Buying time to his left. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Looks like a nine-yard loss. And it also brings up fourth. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know, he hated taking the loss there on third down. The kick by Sanders is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game.
Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, a pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. We often give credit to the O-line. Their two tight end formation, those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Herbert now. Got an open and a loose football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Following the fumble recovery, here's Tua. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Meanwhile, two his throw is taken in by Waddle. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Here's Tungamailoa on first and ten. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. That sack by Khalil Mack. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket, but he couldn't get rid of the football, and the end result, Charles, him on the ground. Yeah, he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line. When you're talking about three, four, five seconds, that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to deliver the ball downfield. So great to try and complete a pass, but it's equally important to know when to throw the football away, too. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carry. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The possession switching back now to the Chargers. Yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, 
Running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. That makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Got his man. It's Williams. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Off of play action, Tugum Iloa. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, I think we've got evidence right now that this team's not going to be daunted at all. Just because they're backed up doesn't mean they're not going to continue to throw the football. They threw an incompletion on first down, but they came right back on second down and threw it again. And this time they hit it for not just good yardage, but a first down. Tua completing this to Waddle. Finding room at midfield. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. Two and now on first down. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. And that seemed to me to be all about trusting your receiver. No doubt about it, because when he put that ball in the air, I will guarantee you everyone who's watching this game right now thought, that's up for grabs. But this is a lot of practice time. As you mentioned, a ton of trust. And he knows how good his guy is. So to him, it wasn't up for grabs. To him, it was... And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On second and nine, Herbert. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. A gain of eight there on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe-tapping, 
and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler, and I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. That'll go as a 39-yard punt. Give him nine on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly. But here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they'd better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. And a six-yard game gets them right around the 43. Well, they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Running the counter with Mostert. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. It sure did. And remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jalen Waddle there, and it's third down. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. The Dolphins on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Two are going to throw. Flushed out right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense. Blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And here's Jake Bailey now. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the seven yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. On first down, Justin Herbert. And now this is intercepted, my goodness. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. After the turnover, it's Tua. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Wami Anderson. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Well, that didn't take long. The turnover instantly almost turning into points. And when that happens, a lot of teams have the mentality of let's strike right now. You've got them off balance after the turnover or the takeaway. Let's go get it. And that's exactly what they did. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is now 10-7.
Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So out come the Chargers. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Ah, uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He's got it to Williams. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Herbert off of play action. And that's caught inside the 35. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. Well, part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Back to throw here, Herbert. He's got a man, that's Keenan Allen. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Here's Herbert. Give him another one right back to Allen. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they deliver there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. Herbert. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers have retaken the lead in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is now 14-10. to 10. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Miami's offense set and ready to go. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive last time out. They found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Two is throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Two it to Tyreek for the Miami first. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Looking sideline, and he's going to have his man as he was able to walk the tightrope there for the completion. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it at its second down. Can you do any more work or make it more dramatic for not much gain than what we just saw there? Did you see how his toes got down? Tip-tap, tip-tap, got him down. But what did he get out of it? He sold the sizzle. He just had no stake. <laughs> I mean, was it one yard? Yeah, you plays like that, you at least expect a first down there just one yard. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Touchdown, Dolphins! Robbie Anderson, two catches, two touchdowns here so far as they have taken the lead. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen, took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. Kick it away after the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air. So now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. The Chargers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Now it's Herbert. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Looks like a nine-yard loss. And it also brings up fourth. 
But that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. Here's Hill on the return. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper. And now off to the races down the right side. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Raheem Mostert. 57 yards and the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead bottom line when you play a runner with these talents you've got to be able to wrap up and get him on the ground or the first person who gets there hold him up long enough for the next wave to get there and get him down otherwise he will continue downfield and find pay dirt extra point up and good by Sanders and his guys will take a 10 point lead Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. L.A. set to take over again on offense. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Herbert now. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Fortunately for him, that ball stayed close so that he could recover it on his own. And you know the prayers that were going through his head as the ball escaped from him? <laughs> How happy was he at the end of it when he found the football again, able to retain possession? So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be a third and about 13. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Third and long, it's Herbert. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Now Hill to return it. It'll be a 39-yard punt. Give him a good 10 yards on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Miami set to take over. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one.
coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On second down, Mostert. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. This one to the sideline. He's got it. A nice job to keep the feet in, but he is a bit short here of a first down. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. L.A. readies for its next possession. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. When the hitch route has run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Jalen Phillips, the former first-rounder, getting in there for the sack. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert, he gets this out to Spiller. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. So eight yards on the completion there. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, here's Eckler. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's J.K. Scott set to do the punting honors. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Watch out for Hill on the return. Nifty move. A nice run back there off the good punt. It's a 16-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Going to the air, Tonga Mailoa. And the grab by Croft. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. And with great starting field position and one time out of their pocket, they could still come away with points here in the late going. 
Second and five. Looking to pass. Tua. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Now a timeout called for by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. To the sideline, he's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good, and the lead will hold at 10. And now two problems as I see it. First, you missed the kick, which granted was a long one. But second, you set the other guys up a great field position and enough time to maybe get downfield and get a field goal attempt of their own. The Charger drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good. Off to the right. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. As they begin their second half here, Charles offensively, you know, not where they want to be, obviously. They're losing in this ball game, but very much within striking distance. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half. Is that the old glass half full, half empty type of a deal? And which way do you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard, but they're definitely opportunities now because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, get back to the running game. I think there are going to be some places to go with it. And I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. From the 22, here's second and eight. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Allen's got it complete. It'll go as a gain of four. And just like that, it's third down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right, then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Herbert. And he'll go right back to Allen. That's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. 
I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Running on first down, Eckler. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second and nine. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And now we've got a third and four. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. It's caught on the right side. Williams. And he is going to have the Chargers first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. I know I'm an old defender, but I've got to give credit where credit's due. That was smart play calling right there on third and four. They didn't need to do too much. Just let their guy get out there and sit down in the zone. And they hit him for the completion for the first down. Herbert on first down now. Flush to his right. Now left, he's got it to Everett. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A big pickup of 38. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. Eckler now between the tackles. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. It's largely been the air attack that's gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. From the two now, second and goal. Justin Herbert looking to pass, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. They're going deep for Hill. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35. It's a big play there for Miami. 46 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now Tua. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, a run with Mostert. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. 
Tua sets up to pass it. And this one is incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So fourth down, Tua departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. But whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin the second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Take it in at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Chargers getting set to go. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Throwing on second and three. Herbert. That's caught right side by Palmer. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. From the 50, here's Herbert. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Nick Needham picks it off. And the Dolphins are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Tua. And it's incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the gun, it's Tua. Going up top, and that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Dolphins will send out the punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Davis now to return it. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers ready to take over. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. 
We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Open man is Palmer. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Herbert. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for Nock. So just three yards on the completion there, and that will bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Once more, here's Eckler. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Now a give running left is Eckler, and he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. They'll try the air now with Herbert. And it's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Josh Palmer, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Point after, up and good. And the lead will shrink to six.
Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Miami's offense set and ready to go. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 21. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. Room here to run. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 124 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. This is a little bit like baseball here. Strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ended up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Here's a toss play right to Moster. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. They'll run right side with Mostert. And some room to work. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That good for 19 and a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Two and now on first down. Forced out to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Dancing to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. Well, it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back, but every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been impressive. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone but it's incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to make it a two-score game. Sanders' kick is good. And that will make this a nine-point lead. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done.
Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Taken in at the three. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 21. He'll hand off here to Eckler. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now it's Herbert. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. On first down, it's Herbert. They'll find Everett there complete. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. From just shy of midfield, Herbert. Open man downfield, it's Palmer. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 24-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And Herbert able to get this one to Eckler out of the backfield. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. He's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice gain. And things add up, and now you have the kind of... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. After the turnover, it's Tua. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Throwing again on second down. Tua, throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Now a give to Mostert running right. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. 155 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. 
Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. That was a difficult catch. And I had... Mike McDaniel, he's going to ask him to take a closer look at this call. And out comes the challenge flag. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Sanders is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist, but time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game is in their favor. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. For the last time out, they had the good drive going. You get in the red zone. They throw the interception. Not their first pick of the game either, so we'll see if they're more careful, more cautious here on this drive. Yeah, nothing worse than repeat mistakes, right? You end up coughing the ball up. You end up throwing a pick. Everything goes awry. And now, points don't go up on the board. I just heard a fan scream out. I thought the idea was to score points. Yeah, they're getting a little restless, too. 23 yards, the final tally. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first down, Justin Herbert. They'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Three yards remain for second down. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Four yards the pickup, first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Herbert on first down now. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. And this offense on third down today, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and ten. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 28. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. 
Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Herbert back to the air. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Herbert operating from the red zone. That's complete right around the eight. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. First down marker at the five. It's second and goal. Up the middle with Eckler. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. Wants to throw it on third and one. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah, yeah, you know what I feel like. Right. Exactly. <laughs> The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And this one now not quite over yet. Still two timeouts remaining defensively. And boy, having that third timeout would have really helped here. Yeah, another example of why coaches really stress saving your timeouts for when you absolutely have to have them. They go over this all the time. Here's one of those situations. Second down. Here's Mostert again. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Once again, it's Mostert. 
Taken down at the 42. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. is Mostert. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down movement. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Back to throw is Tua. That swung out to Mostert. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and ten. Victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. Down to an ego's Tua, and that should just about do it. So it's a win for the Dolphins here, and it was a strong performance by Tua that helped lead the way. Yeah, I thought this defense just didn't have an answer for him all game long. They tried to change things up, but he was always one step ahead. And he finished with over 300 yards passing and two touchdown passes as well.